But yeah, so anyway, um, so here we are at the boss. Uh, this is this is a quick thing. I, I like this. I like this. I really... Uh, the cool thing about three point, the, the patch 3.1 um, is that when it, when it released, uh, there's no more loot restriction on this particular raid. Uh, so what that means is that you can just kind of go in and just keep getting loot. I think I said, I said that already. But in, in addition to that, the fact that you can do that... Um, it makes it more fun because like I like the boss fights in Alexander normal mode but when there is that loot restriction I'm not doing that shit after I get my loot it's fun but I ain't doing it for no reason you know what I'm saying right like I'm, I'm not I'm not doing I will never do anything for no reason right there has to be a reason or I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. it's like hey do you wanna do you wanna you know um, I can't think of a good example, but you know, the, the, the things having a purpose or a reason, it just makes them that much more fun, All right? And and now that there's no loot restriction, this this dungeon is that much more fun. So I, I've said my piece, right? But then you know, when you get into to this portion of the fight, it becomes, and and this is, this is true for any sort of thing that you've done multiple times, but it becomes. Kind of like what it's like in a, in a long-term relationship, right? It's the same. It's always the same. You can predict every single move that the oppressor is going to make before it even makes it. You can get it down to, to a science. To, to You can get a second-by-second -second breakdown of every single attack that the oppressor is going to make. And that is potentially boring. Much like a long-term relationship. But at the same time, it's potentially good, right? Okay, I'm gonna go to the other side with this thing. Oh no! I almost stepped in that puddle! Okay. See, well, you know, see that? That's, you know, that's. All these metaphors are just coming out out of nowhere today. Oh. Uh, this does not look like it's very good. Alright. Right, just like it. Why am I doing the British accent? You know, just like in a long-term relationship, sometimes things get a little funky. You know, get a nice little, um, get a nice little thing from the sex shop, spice it up. You know what I'm talking about. But I'm curious, right? I, I, I'm a young guy, right? I don't know if if I've ever mentioned. I don't think I've ever mentioned this before, but I'm only 23 years old. And that, that's that's a fun fact. I probably should have mentioned that a long time ago. But the, the longest relationship that I've ever been in was like two years. And I've never been able to beat that record again. Sure, I haven't had that much time to beat that record. But, you know. I'm going to let the plane go by. I'm going to just... I'm just let it rock. But yeah, so, the longest relationship I've ever had as a 23-year-old male is... Ah, look at that. People are just messing up stuff. Like I said, I'm not going to explain what's going on, but some... Ah, see, well, I have to explain it now. Somebody didn't kill this stupid thing. Kill it! Okay. But yeah, so... Okay, longest relationship I've ever been in was approximately two years. Haven't been able to beat that track record since... And I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to beat that track record for a whole long time. Yeah, it's, not, it's not because I'm, like, a piece of shit or anything. Even though... Whoops. Miss. Click. It's not because I'm a piece of shit. Even though I've claimed myself to be a piece of shit in one of these videos. I can't remember which. But... I don't know. But anyway, my point is... My, <laughs> what is my point? Honestly. I've lost my train of thought. I really I really have. I was going somewhere, like, pretty interesting with this whole discussion. And I just lost it. Right. And I, I'm sorry for that. I, I truly am. But, you know, it's...
You know, it's just, it's a lot going on. Okay, can, can, can you cut me some slack? Just cut me a little bit of slack. Right, I'm, I'm trying to tank a, a boss. Yeah, it's, it's a fairly simple boss, but it's a boss nonetheless. Right, I'm trying to have a, a, a solo conversation, right? I'm, I'm talking to myself right now. And I'm trying to make that conversation entertaining and and slightly funny. I mean, is it okay if I lose my train of thought somewhere in there? I think it is. I want to say that it is. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. But 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 damn it, I want to say it is. You know what? I guess which brings me to my next topic, right? I don't know, if you haven't noticed, I, I love talking about relationships and, and women and stuff like that. I just, I, I find it so fascinating. Just just the way humans, the way male and female humans interact. And, and even male and male and female and female and, and gay and gay and lesbian and lesbian. It's just, so, it's so fascinating. The way, whoa, don't let it kill. I probably wasted that. Yeah, just just the way. That, let's make it politically correct. The way two people, who are mutually attracted to one another, or even when they're not mutually attracted, the way they interact, it's just super fascinating. You know what I'm saying? Just all the little things that go into, you know, why somebody thinks somebody else is hot, and like, you know, the little. The little subtlety, you know, she, she gonna flick her hair a little bit, expose that neck, cause that neck look pretty, pretty good. Show off them earrings, jingle, jingle. You know what I'm talking about. Or do you? Maybe you don't. I don't, I don't even know to a certain degree. <laughs> but yeah, you know, it's, it's just, it's super fascinating. Just, I should go into DPS mode because we're not really doing that much damage. Because I don't know why this group this group is kind of whack. I'm not gonna lie to you. We might not clear this, and that's gonna be very sad if we don't clear this. But but anyway, but yeah, just the the male, you know, the, the interaction between two people, just all the, the little things that go into just attractiveness. It's incredible. It really is, you know. You know, it's like, and and this is like an old thing, but you're, I'm I'm sure somebody remembers that video of that girl walking down the street, like with them tight ass spandex, pant, like those those, what are they called? With those tight ass yoga pants. Remember that she was like, she well, first of all, she was walking down the street in Harlem. That's number one. It's very the video is very biased, but I'm not gonna get into that right now. But, but. But just like what makes her, what made her so attractive, right? Like it, it, that video was carefully crafted to make men look really shitty. And and granted, we are, we are, we are. But at the same time, that video was was totally just out to to, to just completely make us look way worse than we actually are. Right, and and it and it it's, it go it goes so deep. And it, I almost shouldn't even talk about it because it's, it's, it's way down the path that I should not be going down because it's, it's like ridiculous. Like it's, it's too, it's too political. You know what I'm saying? Like, but fuck it, I'll talk about it, goddamn. Like that, that whole, the whole concept of that video was was designed to make men look like terrible and. Because, because number one, she was walking down the street in Harlem. Number two, in Harlem, dudes be catcalling all the time, more so than other places around New York City, right? So they they, they go to a place where the catcalls are going to be super common. Why? Because they're trolls, right? Like, why didn't they do it in in a predominantly white neighborhood? Why didn't they, no, see, but see, see what I'm saying? It's getting too political. It's getting too political. And I, I don't want to go down that path. I don't want to go down that path. I don't want you to know what my opinions are on certain things because, because you know, maybe, maybe that'll, you know, make people not want to watch, or maybe it'll make people want to watch. Maybe I should get political. Maybe I should talk about like crazy shit.
Sorry, I had to type. I can't type and talk at the same time. Fun fact. But yeah, maybe I should talk about crazy shit. But my point is, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go into it anymore because this dungeon is almost over. And as soon as I get out of here, I'm stopping this recording because I am going like off the deep end, so, like slowly but surely. But last thing I'm gonna say is that video would have been a lot better if it was a bit less biased, right? That that video trying to show that you know women struggle walking down the street. It's so bad. Why are men so evil? But yeah. My, my point is, if you, if you want to make a video to like try and spark some sort of so, social change or whatever, make, make it not biased, because that'll be easier for people to swallow, you know? And people like me that, you know, try and look for all the plot holes and problems with everything, if you make it not biased, then I'll feel good about it, and I'll listen to whatever point you have to say, I'm just, ah, fuck this shit. Fuck this. That was nice. It felt like it froze a little bit. But it did it didn't, but it felt like it did. What is it? come on, come on. Come on. Can we just Oh my thank you. Oh my god, get me out of here. Get me out of here, man. I <laughs> I know it's 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 spiraling out of control. It's ending abruptly and Oh, but just I, I just I dug myself into a hole and I just wanna get out of it right now. He knows. He knows. He knows I'm... Oh come on. Don't make it end like this, man. Don't don't make it end like this. I didn't even get any loot. Ah, oh, that's so bad. Okay, well, we'll look. Okay. This this was interesting. This was certainly interesting. Um. I mean, we talked about a lot today, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. And uh, we talked about a lot. And. Well, I hope you don't think any less of me because of where this conversation went. And just know that it's all in good fun, right? This is a video game channel, right? I'm just, I'm a guy and I'm playing video games and I'm talking smack, right? I, I'm, I'm not the, the, the voice of, of decisions. I'm not the... the, the, the 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 greatest voice of reason to ever walk the earth and and I, I don't pretend to be you know I'm just I'm just a guy with some opinions and I'm putting them out on the internet the most dangerous place for an opinion in, in in the entire world you know you know you know what I'm talking about <laughs>